I got my new wave channel on. It is uh, channel 839 on, on whatever this is. I don't know what this is, Direct TV? Anyway, it is Monday, the second to last day of March, I think. Yep, March 30th. And it is Meatless Monday's day. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do Pasta Primavera. I think I need to turn down One Night in Bangkok a little bit. You know, I did not know the artist was Murray Head. I've never even heard of Murray Head. Did anybody out there know this? It's from 1984. I graduated from high school in 1984. Okay, Pasta Primavera. This is one of my favorite meatless meals. Super easy to make and very healthy for the, for the most part. Lots of vegetables, if you can see here, I'm gonna be using, you can really use any kind of vegetable you want. I am gonna be using tonight what I have on hand. A little garlic, a little onion, a little cauliflower, a little broccoli, broccoli is so good in it, I highly recommend. A little bit of carrot, a little red pepper, and a little zucchini, and maybe some spinach, some fresh spinach. So that's what we're gonna do. So first, I'm going to start with the onion. I'm gonna put onion and garlic in. I don't always put onion in, but I'm gonna put onion in today because I have onion. And it does give it a nice flavor. And what usually happens with this meal, I make it and I don't put it all together. So the vegetables, hey Janice, how you doing? Hopefully Iowa is treating you well today. What we usually do with this, um, the kids, my kids are very high maintenance when it comes to eating. They love pasta, they love Alfredo sauce. They'll eat some veggies, but not all the veggies together, and then they like them separate. So Colton will have pasta with Alfredo sauce, and then I'll usually make him a couple meatballs to go on top of that, and he'll have broccoli on the side. He really only likes his broccoli on the side. At least he eats broccoli. Carson will do Alfredo sauce and pasta, and then she, she might have some of the veggies, but not a ton of them. So that's what, Patrick and I will eat pretty much everything. So I will just make this, and then I keep everything separate. I keep the sauce separate, I keep the pasta separate, I keep the veggies separate. That way we can doctor up our own, the kids can doctor up their own, everybody's happy. And then we have a ton of leftovers of veggies to eat for lunch. So what you do is you saute the veggies. Start with the onion, if you're gonna do onion, and then go progressively through the firmer vegetables. So like you'd put in the spinach last, you'd put in the red peppers near the end. You could put in the carrots and then the, the cauliflower and then the broccoli at the earlier end. So I'm using organic grass-fed ghee for this. You can use olive oil, you can use butter, but I have this and it's a client and it's awesome. It's from New Zealand, so I'm using it. And I really like ghee. We actually use ghee quite a bit. Um, ghee is just clarified butter. It's butter that is heated up to the point where the milk solids separate from the fat and then the milk solids are skimmed off. So if a person has lactose or casein issues, an intolerance of some sort, they can generally still eat ghee, which basically tastes like butter. I mean, I'm smelling this right now and it just smells like butter. So it's really delicious. You can actually bake with this as well. So I'm gonna use this to saute. Now when it comes to the actual Alfredo sauce, you can use ghee, but I'm gonna use butter because I have no issue with casein and I actually like the way the milk solids taste a lot, but since I'm gonna be sauteing this, you know, by chance you burn it, the milk solids will burn much more quickly and the fat won't. So that's another good reason to use it. So just onion, I think I'm just gonna do a half an onion because I have a ton of vegetables here. So we will save that for another time. Little Stray Cats, 1981. 1981. Some of you probably weren't born then. I was. Let's see. 1981, 82, 83, 84. I have to count with my fingers sometimes. 1981, I was a, this time I was a freshman in high school. So garlic, key ingredient. Hey, Patrick's home from golf. Hi. How are you? He doesn't want to be on. Garlic. Um, I use a whole head of garlic and then I pull off the cloves. And again, I think you've seen this before, but to smash it, I just put, put a flat blade and smash it. So I'm gonna put probably about two cloves of garlic in here. And then we're gonna also be using garlic for the Alfredo sauce. It's really one of the key ingredients to give it great flavor. How are you? Good. Good. It was beautiful out there today, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes with garlic, 
depending on what I'm going to do with it, I just chop it. But for this, I'm going to actually put it in the garlic press because I want it really finely diced, and this is the best way to do that. Oops, I got a little skin of the onion in here. You don't want the skin of the onion anywhere because it doesn't taste good and it's rough and hard. So just squeeze that out. There we go. It's just going to give it a little bit of garlic, and I usually just take the rest of this since this isn't really the skin and just put it back in there. We'll leave that out because we're going to need it later. So, two days left of this crazy month. Hasn't it been weird and surreal? Well, get ready for another month of it because we're going to have another month of it. Uh, we're dealing, you know, we're dealing. The kids are doing school now. Today, this week was the first week it really kind of started. And it hasn't really even started that much. I, I highly doubt we even go back to school. The kids don't get out till mid-June, but... I have a feeling that this is not going to be remotely over. I feel badly for the seniors. Prom, um, you know, all the senior activities and seeing their friends. Carson misses her friends. Colton misses his friends. Colton does not miss school, though. <laughs> the life of a 13-year-old boy. So we got the onions in there, sautéing with the garlic. It smells really good. That's that butter, or in my case, ghee, and it just is amazing. I love butter. If you're, um, if you have an issue with butter or you're vegan, you can use olive oil. Um, I'm sure there's lots of vegan Alfredo sauce recipes using like cashews. I use cashews sometimes to make vegan dips like vegan buffalo chicken dip or buffalo cauliflower dip. Um, you basically soak the cashews overnight and then you put them in a food processor with lemon and garlic or whatever you want. So there are lots of alternatives for really good sauces if you are vegan. I am not remotely vegan, but I do like to eat a lot of vegetables and try to get more and more vegetables into my diet. That's why I do Meatless Mondays. Although it really was a Meatless Monday for me because, you know, I made that coca bean the other night and I had a little bit left over, so I had that for lunch. So it's a meatless Monday dinner. That's a start, right? I probably have at least two meatless dinners a week. Okay, I'm gonna put the carrots on now because they're gonna they're a harder vegetable, so they're gonna take longer to cook. So for the vegetables, I'm really just gonna saute them until they're kind of tender crisp. And then in the meantime, I'm boiling the water for the pasta, and then I'm gonna make the sauce, and you'll be able to watch that too. Cauliflower. I already washed, rinsed all these off, so basically just cut it into whatever size niblets you like, bite size, usually for, par, for Primavera. Chase loves raw cauliflower. Here, there you go. He's, he's, uh, you know, he's deaf. The knives reflect off the ceiling and he thinks it's an animal, I guess, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put this in there. Here's another teaspoon. That's a nice thing about having a dog, that anything you drop on the floor, you don't have to clean up, because they do. So I'm seeing all these Facebook posts about being quarantined, and not really quarantined, but you know what I mean, and how now people understand what the dogs go through. Now see, he's just completely lost his mind. There, i got to move the knife. These knives in particular make the best reflection. <laughs> we love him. He's a great dog. He's just a little crazy. Okay, this is going to make a ton of vegetables, but I like that because I like leftovers. He also loves raw broccoli stock. There's a lot of things you can do with raw broccoli stock. I'm not a huge fan. Um, personally, you could juice it. That'd be fine, but I'm just going to save it and put it in his dog food so he gets a little extra roughage. This is organic broccoli. Pretty much everything I buy is organic if I can find organic. And fortunately, our stores have a very, very good selection of organic produce. Costco, um, my number one go-to. And then Ralph's is usually my second go-to. Or Sprouts sometimes. We just don't have one convenient. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday because I was there anyway, so I picked up some things there, including toilet paper. I was getting a little low and they had it, so I thought, well, it's not like you're not going to use it. You're eventually going to use it, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the onion and the garlic. 
carrots, raw cauliflower, and I'm going to put the broccoli in there now. We're getting to the end of the veggies. I don't need both broccolis because this is making a ton. Do another piece? There you go. So as you know, I always talk about exercise. My exercise today was a bike ride. I am a cyclist. I've been a cyclist for a long time. I love to cycle. And not lately, but you know, I've been doing spin class at the gym. They close the gym, so no more spin class. And spin class is an amazing workout. It's like it's more anaerobic than I would ever push myself to be anaerobically. So that's why I like that. And it's it's a quick workout, it's easy. I go right after I drop Carson off at school. Um, you know, it's a good workout where, you know, in 50 minutes you're you're burning 600 calories plus. So it's great, but the gym's closed. So then I was riding on the bike path right here at the 56 for those of you who live around here, which is also great because it's safe. And you know, the drivers around here, everybody's distracted, everybody's in a hurry. You know, you, know, you, you really do put your life at risk every time you go out on the road. I mean, it's sad, but true. So I was doing that, which is great because I can put my tunes on and I can really zone and be in my own head and it's the perfect time for me to just think and relax and it, it, like I say these are my therapy sessions they seriously are my therapy sessions um, that's that's what keeps me sane is exercise um, coupled with music even better exercise and music that's pretty much all I need and I save myself thousands of dollars in therapy I'm putting just a little bit of salt in here there's gonna be enough sodium in the rest of the meal through the Alfredo sauce, so just salt, lots of pepper. That's always a good thing. And if you like certain spices, like you could put some basil in here, oregano. I, I don't, I like it super simple because I like to taste the vegetables and I like to taste the Alfredo sauce. So anyway, back to the biking. So I was going on the bike path and they closed that. So I, if I want to bike, I'm going to have to bike on the road. I went to Torrey Pines and I did hill repeats. And um, if you know Torrey Pines, it is, I don't know, it's just uh, maybe five miles from here, maybe not even five miles from here. And there's a road that goes up, a very long road that the cars go up. And then the state park has a windy road that's much steeper, shorter, but steeper. So I, I rode on Friday and I did the outside loop three times. And then today I saw that people were walking up Torrey Pines. I'm like, okay, so I went through there in my bike through the gate and I did the inner loop three times. You still have to come down on the outside, but the inside is great. It's just a totally different workout. I'm gonna put a little more ghee in here because it's, um, it's more intense. You know, on the outside, it's kind of a long, slow grind. Um, it's uphill. I keep it in the big chain link, but I can't do that on the inside. I guess I could, but I'm not gonna do that. So it's just a different kind of workout. And it's great, and then coming down, you know, you're flying, you're going so fast. And it was great the first two times, but by the third time I came down, the wind had picked up a lot. And I've got these wheels on, these rims on my bike. I should probably put on different wheels. And I was getting blown around too much. So I, I wanted to go up one more time, but I didn't, because I didn't want to die. But I got, I don't know, 22, 23 miles. So it was a really good workout. And um, I don't know, I'll probably ride one or two times more this week and find a place to run because our path is closed. So now I'm going to put the zucchini in. The zucchini is really good in pasta cream bear too. So we've got onions, garlic, cauliflower, carrots, zucchini, and broccoli. You should see the colors. It's beautiful. It's got orange and green and white. So we're going to add some red, red pepper. Love red pepper, love orange pepper, love yellow pepper, hate green pepper. If you read my recipe, you probably saw that. I don't know if this is true, but I heard that green pepper is unripe pepper. And sometimes when you cut open one of these peppers, it's green on the inside. So I don't know if that's true. Then why yellow, why orange, why red? But either way, green peppers are much more acidic. And I just don't like them. I don't like the way they taste. And the red ones are so much prettier. So I hope you all are out there getting some kind of exercise, even if it's just a walk. Walking for 20 minutes, a half hour, 45 minutes, 
and try to vary your speed if you can. Um, do some abs, do some weight bearing exercises. It will just really make your life so much better. Highly recommend it. And then you'll be able to eat these foods without being worrying about it and gaining weight. All right, this is gorgeous. Beautiful colors, a little more pepper. Super fresh and healthful. Okay. And you can do anything with this. I mean, you could put a teriyaki sauce in here. If you just wanted to have a stir fry, you could put a curry sauce in here. You could put a Thai sauce in here. You could really do anything with this bowl full of sauteed veggies. And you can also roast it. Every single one of these vegetables can be roasted, um, even the peppers. You just have to kind of phase them in in the proper stage. I roast vegetables all the time. You put it on about 4, 425, put a parchment on a rimmed baking sheet. I usually just use ghee, salt, and pepper. And it gives a totally different flavor to the vegetable, but it's very, very good as well. Okay, so that is ready. The, um, well, it's not ready but I'm gonna move it now because I'm going to move on to the Alfredo sauce. Let's put that back on, and the water is boiling now too. But let's get started with this. So I'm gonna use butter for this because like I said, I like the um, saltiness of the milk solids. I use grass-fed butter. Uh, trying to estimate what that is, no idea. Um, I just do it by feel. That's probably, that's an eight ounce pat. That's probably two ounces, I'm guessing. Two, four, six, eight, yeah, that's probably two ounces of butter, which is a quarter cup. More garlic. I'm gonna put three cloves of garlic in here because it gives it great flavor. And you know, you can always adjust everything. So if you feel like it's not garlicky enough, add more garlic. If you feel like it's not salty enough, add more chicken base or add salt. If you think it needs more butter or cream, you know, it's just really easy to, nothing is, it's nothing's perfect here. I am not a perfectionist, even remotely. Okay, now this is gonna smell really good because there's a lot of butter here. Now you have to be really careful with this not to burn the butter because that's where it will take on a completely different kind of burnt butter flavor, which you really don't want when it comes to alfredo sauce. So just keep that in mind. I better get a different spoon because Colton will wonder why there's green things in his alfredo sauce, I swear. Okay, so this is just butter and garlic. It smells amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pepper in there. Keep stirring the vegetables every now and then, depending on what kind of pan you have. You don't want them to stick, but you want them to not be soggy either. So you don't wanna get them too, too cooked. So when you're, you're boiling the water, I put a good amount of salt in the water for the pasta. You can use whatever kind of pasta you want or anything else you want. You can just have the vegetables with the Alfredo sauce. <clears throat> or you can put it on grains or whatever. This is that chicken stock that I use. It's called Better Than Bouillon. It's organic chicken base and it's very convenient. I buy it at Costco. I'm gonna put probably about a tablespoon of that in here. Just enhances the flavor, makes it much more, have more, much more body versus just a cream-based Alfredo. This is a cream-based Alfredo, but this is gonna enhance the flavor quite a bit. So I'm mixing that up with the butter. Turn that down a little bit. I'm gonna show you so you can see. Hey, Marnie. Okay. This is the Alfredo sauce beginning. So that's butter, three cloves of garlic, and then about a tablespoon of the chicken base. This is the vegetables. Look how pretty those colors are. Isn't that gorgeous? So like I said, really any kind of, any kind of um, vegetable you wanna use, put you here. 
I don't want to burn this. In fact, this is ready for the pasta, but I'll give that another minute. I'm going to turn it off a second. Okay, cream. <laughs> this cream, I, I, you want to use organic cream, I use this giant one from Costco because it's just much more cost effective. And I leave it in our back fridge in the garage because it wasn't open yet and I just put it in there. And that back fridge is too cold or something, but it froze, so that's why I had it sitting over here kind of in the sun. So hopefully it's thawed out enough so I can use it. Uh, it's just a little kind of icy, icy cream. Ice cream? I just kind of have to squeeze it, so <laughs> it's probably gonna be especially creamy because, or um, yeah, there's ice particles in here, so maybe the ratio isn't gonna be perfect, but it's okay. It's all gonna taste good. I'm quite confident in that. I would say we're putting in at least two cups of cream. Frozen cream at that, but I would say it's about two cups. Um, Alfredo will keep for a while in the refrigerator, so it's not like you, and there's no meat in any of this, so it's not like you have to really worry about it going bad. So we'll keep it in there and sometimes even make more pasta to use with it if the pasta runs out, which it might because I'm only making a pound of pasta. But then you can have your fresh pasta with more sauce. So I, I don't recommend that you freeze the cream. It just makes it a little more challenging. That's okay. We'll start with that. Put the cream in there, stir it a little bit. Now this is going to thicken and get really yummy. Just continue stirring the veggies. Now I'm going to put the pasta in there. I am doing pepperdelli this time because I was at Trader Joe's yesterday, which I really don't shop there because it's kind of a weird store for me. But they had this, and I thought, oh, I love Pepperdelli. I think it's called Pepperdelli. It might be called Pepperdell, but I love it. It actually is my favorite, my favorite pasta. My teeth don't even work on this. I have to resort to a scissors. It's okay. So it's just a really thick noodle. I'm sure you've probably had it in restaurants before. Really, 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 really yummy. And it holds sauce very well. So when you're doing a saucy, a saucy sauce, a saucy sauce. But you know how some sauces are more chunky, some are more saucy. Pepperdelli is perfect for a really saucy type of sauce. <laughs> that sounds very redundant, but I think you know what I mean. Because some sauces aren't so saucy. Oh, this is going to be good. I feel like I need another bag in here though because I know Carson's going to gobble that up when she gets here. The veggies are looking awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's going to take seven minutes, give or take. I'm not the biggest person on time, but you don't want the pasta to be all gross and soft. You really want it to be al dente. I'm going to put another one in. It's just too good, and we'll eat it. Luckily, I bought four. I'll put some of it in. Maybe I won't put all of it in. Good compromise. There we go. That'll work. That'll be good. So about seven minutes for that. And then when it comes to the cream, turning it up a little bit, this is going to thicken as it heats up. Put a little more cream in there as the cream melts. That should be good. And pepper. This shouldn't need any salt. I'll get down here. Shouldn't need any salt at all. But if you like it salty, go ahead and add salt. Turn that up a little bit so it thickens. And basically, you're just going to cook this until it thickens. And it's going to make a really nice Alfredo sauce with a lot of flavor. And you'll be able to taste it as it thickens. And then we're gonna add um, cheese to it. We're gonna add Parmesan. In my case, I'm using a Parmesan Romano combination. You can really use anything. And then we usually just, this is like a one dish meal. It's great. So you just get a bowl, you put this in there. I'm gonna make some garlic bread on the side. You can also do a salad if you want, but there's plenty of fiber and vegetables in here. So you really don't need to supplement it with a veggie. Hey, Janie, it is yummy. I kind of put the recipe, well, the ingredients up there so you know kind of what I do. 
some of my things I make, I actually have recipes for, but a lot of them like this, I don't. This is just something you kind of learn over time how to make. Oh yeah, baby, that is looking good. Ugh. Turn down those a little bit. So with regard to the garlic bread, I'll come over to you since maybe I can turn you this way. This is the other part of my kitchen. This is the sourdough starter I started making. You can see a few bubbles in there. And I've been using this, so I made sourdough bread with it last week. And I'm gonna make pizza later this week with that sourdough starter. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but if uh, I, I can do it live. And it's really good to make homemade pizza, I love that. But what we're gonna do is make some garlic bread. So I'm gonna put my toaster oven on to bake high in time. Make it my other, other cutting board. My non-Jack Daniels cutting board. Because garlic bread is just so good. You don't want to miss out. So I'm going to cut this a little thicker. Still really good. I had a piece last night just with butter. Very, very yummy. And especially with butter and garlic. Okay. I'm just going to do butter and garlic, salt and pepper, and probably not even salt. I was gonna do rosemary on it, so some fresh diced rosemary is really good, but I don't want to compete with the sourdough flavor, so I'm just gonna stick with it without the rosemary. Okay, my Alfredo, you wanna watch this because it will boil up and then make a big old mess, so you don't want that to happen. So just keep an eye on your Alfredo while you're doing all this other stuff. You can see the pasta, I don't know if you can see that. The pasta does the same thing, so it's starting to boil over a little bit. So all you have to do is Blow on it, stir it, turn it down. It's not a big deal. Blows over, you just clean it up, but oh, this is looking good. See how that is nice and soft? That's gonna be awesome. But I'm gonna feel it because I didn't time it. And like I said, you do not want to overdo your pepper belly. Yeah, it needs a little more. You can taste it, but you can tell. You can always turn off the water too. Turn off the water and let it just sit in hot water which I do sometimes. Okay, everything else looking good. See how that's almost boiling over? Same thing, stir it, blow on it, and that should take care of it. <laughs> I'm such a professional here. Luckily, it's just us eating this, so they have all my germs anyway, right? Looks really good. Veggies look amazing. Turn that fire off. I'm going to turn the fire on the pepper deli off too because I don't want to lose that. Okay, that looks great. So what I'm going to do is make the sour, the uh, not sourdough, and I'm going to use the uh, ghee because my butter is in the back fridge and I don't want to go get it right now. Okay, this is my my ghee knife. I have three different knives here. So big hunk of ghee, and ghee is just butter that's been clarified. So it's not a big deal. And I'm gonna put another garlic thing in here, actually two, because it's garlic bread. It's a very garlicky meal. Hopefully you like garlic. Not that you're eating mine, but you know what I mean. I like garlic. So we'll, oops, get a new one. I mean, it does have that skin on it, so you could pick it up and use it, but I won't. Three uses of the garlic press in one meal, pretty good. I'm just gonna put that right into the ghee and then we're gonna put it in the microwave briefly. I actually could just spread it because it's because the ghee is soft, but we'll see. Put that right in there. You probably can't see this. Maybe you can. Again, pepper. Lots and lots and lots of pepper. And it's also really good putting a little bit of cheese on there, like the Parmesan or maybe some mozzarella. So it's kind of like a cheesy garlic bread. You don't have to, but it does make it yummy. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking really good. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. Okay, that's gonna be good. Just a touch more. Touch 
much more on that. So even though it's a one dish meal, <laughs> it's a lot of pans. Patrick will love that. It's our deal. I cook, he does the dinner, eating the dishes, usually. Sometimes he waits too long and it drives me crazy, so I do it. Because I hate dirty dishes. Sit around. Okay, so I want you guys to see this. I'm gonna put you here. Sorry about my hand. Maybe I can. There we go, see? I have a little brush, but I can't find it right now. Because like I said, I redid my kitchen. Okay, so this is just the garlic ghee butter I made with fresh garlic, pepper, and ghee. And I'm gonna put a little Parmesan on here, because why not? Maybe on two of them. Anything you have left in here, if you want, you can just throw it in the veggies, or you can throw it in the sauce even, or the pasta. That's a good idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it in the pasta. So there's that. And I'm going to put a little bit of Parmesan on there. Just a little bit. And then we're going to put this into the, the sauce. So that won't take very long to bake. Maybe... Um, Seven minutes or so. Okay, so now let's put you here and you can watch what I do with the uh, with the sauce here, the Alfredo sauce. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. That should work. Okay, so you can see this. This is the sauce, you can taste it. Mmm, really, 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 really good. Super yummy. You can taste the depth of that chicken base, it makes a huge difference. So just put this, I'm headless. It's kind of weird. I mean, I'm really not headless, but I like headless there. I'll just get down really low here. Hello, there you go. So let's see. Mm, that's probably about a cup. Let's start with that and see how that looks. Just stir it in there. I still have this on very low heat. And then you're just gonna do this to taste. So if you like it to have a little stronger, cheesier flavor, just put a little more cheese in there. It's just Parmesan Romano in my case. This is great because Costco sells this giant bag, Belgio I also, I don't know. I can't pronounce Italian. Oh yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna put a little more in though. Or a lot more. <laughs> It's called wing it cooking. You just do what feels good at the time. We're winging it. It's gonna be good though, trust me. Okay, now it's time to drain the pepper deli. I just wanna make sure it is done. That smells good too. Yeah, that's good. Perfect al dente. It's gonna be really hot, so use hot pads. You can rinse it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. They say, I don't know if it's true, that rinsing it gets off the, the molecules that, that are in the cars that make it sticky. So I'm gonna rinse it because you do not want the pappardelle sticky. Because it's so good, you want it nice and loose. Your Italians out there, your big pasta cookers may say something different. I'm sure you could Google it. I'm going to get a little bit, and I'm going to put it back in there and put the rest of that garlic sauce in and maybe a little extra ghee or olive oil. Voila. Okay, so the leftover.
leftover garlic butter. Throw that in there. Because why not? It's basically all the same flavors. There was garlic in each one of these things. You just kind of watch, watch the alfredo. Put it on a low enough heat where nothing crazy is going to happen. I have boiled it over before and it doesn't hurt it. It's just a gigantic mess for you to clean up later, which you don't want to do that. And Patrick certainly doesn't want to do that either. Okay. This looks perfect. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it smells so good. You could literally just eat this alone. I'm going to put a little more key in there. Because why not? Like Carson will also just eat the eat the pasta by itself with butter. Butter and pasta. It's like one of her goes to. I'm a little uneven there. Simple Mind, one of the best 80s songs, right? Breakfast Club? Yep, Breakfast Club. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Pepper. I'm just gonna pepper everything right in a row. Boom, boom, boom. We're getting low on pepper. Did you notice I didn't put salt in anything except the pasta sauce? I guess I should taste one of the veggies. Ha! Doesn't need salt. So you just don't need to, you don't need to salt stuff. People salt stuff way too much. And I didn't even put it in the garlic bread. Depending on what kind of butter you use, if you want, use unsalted butter, you might want to put a little bit of, a little bit in there. Okay, a little more here. I'm gonna put it on boil actually. And that is basically it. Garlic on the floor. Garlic, run away. So, high fat, yes. Okay, let's fix you. Well, let's fix me. There. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of fat in this meal. There's a lot of, no, it's still off. There's a lot of butter. There's a lot of ghee. There's a lot of cheese. There's a lot of cream. But, that isn't so bad. You know, if you have a fairly healthy diet with good vegetables and good fibers, good fiber, and you exercise, fat does not make you fat. What typically makes a person fat is sugar. So carbs turn into sugar, sugar turns into sugar, refined foods, processed foods, stuff you can't, chemicals, stuff you can't um, pronounce, that's what makes people overweight. Um, if you're eating bread all day long with butter on it, yeah, you're going to gain weight because what does that bread turn into? The carbs turn into sugars in your body. So that is the problem. If you eat a good balanced diet with all these kind of things in it, it's not going to be an issue, especially if you do intermittent fasting, which I do. I don't eat breakfast typically. I usually eat around 11 or 12. Um, I have black coffee in the morning. I work out and I eat after that and I really don't get hungry I mean your body adjusts to that and so basically you're having I'm having two big meals I'm having a lunch and a dinner and sometimes I have some snacks in there like maybe a little plate of nachos or some leftovers or whatever um, chocolate hey Ben I saw you out there playing basketball it's nice to be quarantined as your next-door neighbor um, but that's pretty much it you know take care of yourself exercise do a little intermittent fasting if you want to lose some weight or if you just want to maintain or if you want to be able to eat basically everything you want to eat without having to diet and and change anything like I mean I have chocolate almost every day I eat a ton of cheese I eat pasta you know you should be able to eat what you want now if you're overeating and you're eating enough for five people yeah that's probably gonna have cause a problem eventually now, I'm gonna put this all together for you so you can see what it looks like and how yummy it is Broiling that for just another second. Lots of different bowls you can use. I'm going to use the flat, low flat bowl. Pepper deli. Just made some nice, beautiful noodles. Yum, yum, yum. See how beautiful those are? Don't those look amazing? I'm going to have an extra noodle. And then I'm going to put the veggies on there. Lots of good, yummy veggies in here. So this is 
the veggies on top of the pappardelle. And now it's time for the Alfredo. Stir that up one more time. I usually just use a little um, measuring cup. And they weren't put back in the proper place, so I'm gonna have to use this one. And just sprinkle as much as you want on there. I like a lot of sauce, so give myself a little extra. Oh yeah, that looks so good. That's my pasta primavera, but we're not done yet. Garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Here is the garlic bread. Sourdough, freshly baked sourdough. It's not quite done, so I'm gonna put it back in there and I'm gonna eat this later. Like in two minutes, once it's done. So that is the cooking lesson for today. Thank you all for being here and watching. I will put this on the YouTube channel, so if you wanna watch it again, it's easier than finding it on Facebook. And I hope you're all doing great. Have a great second to last day of the month and keep hanging in there with your social distancing and whatnot. Bye, thanks for being on.